What's up, Capricorn? It's your girl, Dominique, with Catholic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. All right, Capricorn, I am back with your first half of June 2020, Torn in Between the Two series. And guys, I created this series so that I can gauge any third-party energy, what is your energy towards your current person, and any side person you may have, and then vice versa, the cross-watcher's energy towards you, and then towards any third-party that they may have, okay, guys? So, if you haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and do so by clicking that subscribe button and ringing that bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave your thoughts and opinions down below, guys. All right? Just as a disclaimer, time and energy here is fluid. So yes, the energy that I'm most prominently picking up, I am going to portray that energy as your energy Capricorn as this is your reading but if it's the energy of the cross watcher go ahead and switch those energies okay it never hurts because for some Capricorns it'll be exactly the way I tell it all right guys so we just gonna hop right in spirit what is Capricorn sun moon rising Venus and the north nodes current energy towards their primary person spirit mm-hmm -mm. Trust, okay. Ooh, leadership, wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's get one more. So you trust them, you feel safe with them. They are definitely a leader in your eyes. So this is a virtuous man or woman, whoever you have in your life, and they are making you feel fulfilled, honey, okay? They are making you feel fulfilled. And for some reason, I keep getting fulfillment for you and Taurus. So, and when I see this peach, I just got to say it. But somebody here likes somebody booty or somebody like booty rubs or whatever the case. But whatever the case is, I'm seeing here that whoever you are currently with Capricorn, you have so much trust in this person's um, thoughts, opinions, leadership. This is somebody that exudes a lot of protection. You feel protected around this person. Every time I see the uh, polar bear, I I think of protection. Most of the time, mother bear protection. So um, you could be a Cap. I mean, Capricorn. You could be a mother, or you could be the mother to this person's child, or um, just regardless to what, it's just something about this person, like they a big old teddy bear to you, even if they a small person, they just like, they provide you with so much protection and security and fulfillment and you trust them, okay? There's a lot of deep, deep, deep emotion here. I do feel like whoever this is, you guys frequent vacations together, um, especially like in different countries or places where there are beaches, um, This situation is really wish fulfillment. There is a lot of deep emotions. And honestly, I feel like for some of you, this can be something new that you're not even really speaking on yet because I'm getting, I don't want to say a lot of secrecy, but even if everybody knows that you guys are together, like this is not the type of couple that posts pictures online and stuff. Like y'all just stay low key. Y'all enjoy each other's company without all of the parading, you know? Why is trust here for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the North Node. This is somebody that you're going back to, Caps. You making a decision to go back to somebody. You definitely was feeling conflicted at one point or this connection definitely caused a lot of conflict. And that could be why you guys are keeping it under wraps where you don't want every single person in the world to know every single detail about your situation. Why is leadership here for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the North Node awakening okay so this definitely can be a divine 
uh, counterpart shift. Maybe it's this emperor that needs to go through an awakening because I'm definitely getting the emperor in reverse. So this is somebody that's not quite taking grasp of their divinity here. But this is somebody that you are communicating with on an everyday basis. Maybe there's good news. Maybe this person is going through an awakening or you guys are just making plans for the future. Like I kind of get you guys like on some secret vacation um, laying in the sand under the stars, kind of making plans about your future. And no matter how much it can seem far-fetched to others, it's very, very, very real for you guys here. And like I said, it may be a lot of people that don't want to see you guys together, but there's a sense between you and this person, especially with the awakening guy, guys, this could be a spiritual connection. And you guys are both aware that you feel pulled and connected to each other spiritually. Why is fulfillment here, spirit? Wow, the muse of materials is here. So this is definitely a relationship that's going to lead down a road of security, stability. Like this is like something that it's like retirement and, you know, just being able to relax. And like I said, go on vacations. And you know what? This is a situation that might have caused endings um, because I'm seeing tower moments. So choices in this relationship had to be made that may have caused tower moments in you all's lives or other people's lives. But I'm getting the hierophant at the bottom of the day. So you guys could definitely be married or planning on marrying this person secretly where nobody knows like a destination wedding where it's just the two of you and possibly two witnesses here but i'm getting that this is a shocking connection like when this junk hit the block people gonna be kind of shocked like wow um people are gonna be kind of shocked like wow uh, and again like you're at this point you guys don't realize i mean you guys do not care who holds a grudge who doesn't want to see you guys together you guys know that others may be disturbed by uh others may be disturbed by you guys actually being together especially like an ex or something like that but y'all like you know what we gotta block that block other people's opinions out and just go for it okay so i'm definitely going to clarify this why is the six of voices here Tower in reverse, okay? Oh, the courtship. Yeah, so somebody is making a decision like, you know what? Even if this connection is causing conflict for others, they gonna have to deal with that because I feel connected to you spiritually. So I'm not gonna miss the opportunity in being with you. This is wish fulfillment for somebody with the star here. Yeah. So this is a situation where it's like, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Because somebody in this situation have a family. Somebody is definitely being considered a snake in this situation. But that's because people are not understanding that these are two people that feel connected at the soul. Yeah, somebody is receiving some type of messages from higher dimensions or like downloads from the spiritual realm that this connection is destined. Why is the emperor here in reverse? Like I said, somebody here could be married and having to divorce because I'm getting a scythe here. Once again, this can be something that happened very quickly and unexpectedly. Why is the page of inspiration here? I hate to say this, but if somebody was married and now all of a sudden their spouse is terminally ill, the person that was already like in something new and planning on leaving, it's like happy that their partner is sick. And I'm so sorry to say that, but I'm seeing that here. Why is the muse of materials? Because it's kind of like, okay, well now it's only a matter of time. Like I don't even have to reveal the fact that I was cheating on this person. They can just you know, pass away. I'm going to just hang in there until they pass away or something. And that's really sad. That's for somebody. I'm so sorry. Okay, son in reverse. The whip is in reverse. Somebody isn't as, as, okay. So this is definitely, you guys are viewing each other as, 
primary partners, but actually y'all in relationship. Somebody here is with somebody that's probably on a deathbed or something like that. Okay, um, with the distant horizon in reverse, not every single last one of you, but I'm getting that energy for somebody. And so, so, so okay, this is a situation where you're saying, look, I'm going to leave my spouse. I'm leaving them. You don't have to worry. That very same person is finding out, wow, okay, my husband or my wife is sick. They just got diagnosed with such and such stage four, such and such. I got to stick around and help this person out. But at least we know that this is going to come to an end. Well, somebody, the person that's on the other side of this, they not happy about having to wait for a divorce to happen or for some somebody's mate to get well or to pass on. They not happy about having to wait. They want what they want right now. Okay, so that's what I'm getting from this situation. So this can definitely be a side situation, but you already seeing this person as your main person because 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 the plan is already being made i'm gonna just pause this and tell whoever is outside my door window trimming something i'm gonna wait hold on so we're gonna get the energy of capricorn towards their third party spirit what is the energy of capricorn sun moon rising venus and the north node towards their third party or their side person. Mm -hmm. Enlightenment and reverse purity. Healing chaos. Okay. All right. Thriving. All right. So this is definitely an energy where I feel like you trying to keep it cool because you are married. Okay, um, and so these readings are kind of coming out funky this time around, you guys, because I was getting that um, that first energy that I was pulling was a third party energy. But again, it could be a mixture of both because here I'm getting and this honestly can be before you realized the connection because I'm getting the enlightenment in reverse. So this could be before you guys realized that whoever this is you see as a divine counterpart was a divine counterpart, all right? So before you realized that, there was a sense of you trying to keep it professional, trying to stay friendly, you know, or whatever the case is, like you did not want to take it there because whoever, some of you Capricorns are married or in a situation, Whatever the case is, I feel like at a time when you met this person, you could have been trying to work it out with your husband or wife, you know, so maybe y'all was still going on vacations, um, you know, just being real lovey-dovey and stuff like that. But this person came into your life and made you realize that that other situation was just a chapter in your life and not your forever, okay? That's kind of what I'm getting here, all right? So, yeah, this is showing up as more as old energy. And then the first spread I pulled, I feel like it's like the outcome. Because it gets to a point where you surrender to this. Like, at first, you're trying to keep it pure. you like, no, can't do that. Sorry, married. And then and the, the first spread is kind of showing where you let your guards down. Because this enlightenment in reverse became the enlightenment in the upright. And you realize, like, dang. I feel a deeper connection to this person than just a friend or just a business partner, you know, and it's not something I can help. Why is enlightenment here in reverse? Devil in reverse. So, yeah, somebody is really trying to ignore. Even if you saw it, Capricorn, and that's your energy, there's a sense of you trying to do the right thing. you like, oh, no, I'm not about to get caught up in those, you know, I'm not about to get caught up in no devil energy, but, you know, you saw it as devil energy simply because you were feeling deep emotions for this person that may seem like, okay, this is uncharted territory, I'm married, I'm not allowed to love this person, but there was something so genuine about this energy of you and this individual at, with this back and forth pull, you know, uh, exchange of energy, like maybe they were very, very comforting and supporting to you, and you just felt the need to be the same way. I feel like
So I feel like you guys try to keep it as professional or platonic as possible because you saw this as a selfish move of yours here. You know, so maybe you ended it or you were just acting like mean or rude to this individual because you like, until I become single, be, until I close out a chapter in my marriage or in my life, I really can't entertain this. I'm not single. Healing chaos in reverse. So I do feel like Capricorn, some of you guys could have tried to work out a marriage. And so if you started, a, a, started an affair or you were trying to avoid an affair, I do feel like that's why the card of going back to is here because it's like, okay, you realize you tried to move away from this person. You tried to do the right thing. You tried to um, focus on your marriage and it didn't work. You tried to friend zone this individual. And guess what? Your relationship still ended anyways. So this is a situation where you reapproaching an old flame. You know, you kind of coming towards them as a, a new option or whatever because you've been made single. You know, if you were just in a relationship, then it was a relationship um, that was a long-term one. All right. So there is a sense of you closing out a chapter and you know, you like, you know what? I don't have to worry about nobody else. I can do me now. You know, you could be going out. You could be having a good time. It could be a lot of internet dating here. Um, I feel like you have to think about whether you want to reach back out to this person because you already know how intense everything is between you and them. Why is the devil in reverse here? The star card. Yeah, so you are trying to resist the inevitable because you still have a lot of um, faith in your marriage or whatever it is you were trying to work out. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Bad health. Yep. So Capricorn, I hate to say it, but you guys could be the one um, that's either, like I said, trying to heal chaos. That chaos may not even be like relationship issues. It could actually be healing chaos. Like if your partner had a lot of health issues, chaos would be within a body. You know, like, oh, wow. You know, my partner got a lot of symptoms or a lot of things wrong with them. So here it is. You trying to ignore this new love or whatever, but this person is giving you a lot of support. Maybe they buy you gifts. Um, just trying to do things to cheer you up and make you happy at a time where you know you're not so happy. Your either your relationship is failing, and like I said, for some of you guys, you have a sick individual, a sick partner. Okay, why is the world card here? Wow. And like I said, when this person passes away, it's definitely inheritance, inheritance being left. And I feel like they're not even selling family. Man, somebody here kind of greedy. I ain't going to even lie. All right. So Capricorn, I don't know if this is you or your person, but somebody waiting for an inheritance. They waiting for somebody's life to complete or they rate, waiting for a divorce. Either or. Um, because I feel both stories are here and they keep showing up. But yeah, somebody was pretending to see you as a friend or you was pretending to see somebody as a friend and you're going to reapproach that person and see them completely different once you reach a completion in your situation here. Something is being cut out. Either somebody passing away or a divorce or a breakup is happening. Seven of Cups. And you're no longer going to be confused about how you feel about this other connection. All right? You're going to be able to freely express yourself without feeling guilt or shame or stress about it. It's like, okay, well, this is not an affair now. Like, either I'm a free woman or a free man, and I can do this without hurting somebody here. All right? All right, so let's get the cross watchers energy towards Capricorn. What is the cross watcher's energy towards Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node? Enlightenment. Wow. 
All right, so this person already knew. They This is like love at first sight for them. Maybe it took you a while to get it. They just can see like a life, like a lifelong life with you. They see you as pure. And so maybe they even kind of happy that you did turn them down because it let them know like, wow, this is a good girl. I know I can trust him. Or this is a good guy. I know that I can trust him. Why is enlightenment here? It's funny that the same cards is coming out for you yeah, this is a King of Wands type of energy. And I'm getting the Judgment card and the Ten of Pentacles. So that to me just lets me know that secretly this person has already been thinking about a long-lived future with you here. Okay, this person with the Enlightenment, like I said, this was love at first sight. Maybe they've been watching you from a distance. Caps, you guys can be uh, Sagittarius cusps. But there is a sense of balance. Like they feel balanced. They feel peace. I feel like they've either had dreams or they are getting some type of messages from their guides telling them that you are the one. So even when you walked away from them saying, look, you know what? I'm married. I really can't do this. They already knew. They knew it. They was like, you know what? She going to become single and we will reconcile. All right. I feel like they had an ex in a way too. And that could be another reason why you was like, this is too messy. I can't deal with this. You turned down some type of offer they gave you, you know, because you felt like it was too messy. They had somebody else. You had somebody else. They cut off their person. Now, something is either happening with you and your person where y'all get a divorce or where um, either you guys are getting a divorce or some for some of you, you have actually, they're transitioning over to the afterlife. Okay. All right. So, all right. So what is the cross watchers energy towards their third party? If any, what is the cross watchers energy towards their third party? If any, wow. New beginnings. All right. What is the cross watcher's energy towards their third party? Inner peace and reverse. Okay. So the cross watcher's energy can definitely be like the person that's sick or ill or that's that something is being left behind with because I'm getting the inner peace and reverse and a potential in reverse. So for some of you, like I said, for those of you that are experiencing um, your spouse or partner being sick or uh, having a terminal or chronic illness, um, there is a sense of like this person knowing that they're not going to recover. So they know it's like, okay, the potential in this relationship is gone. I know that my wife or my husband is going to have a new beginning on the horizon. But, you know, there's a sense of a lack of inner peace. Like this person hasn't yet been able to wrap their mind around it. Like the fact that they at the end of their life, they you know, uh, they feel like blessings are being taken from them. So at this time, the cross watcher energy towards um, the person that they, they are leaving behind, it could be hurting and they're not saying anything because they don't want to seem selfish. Okay. Cause I'm getting at it. They're thinking a lot. They confuse a lot. They don't know what the outcome is. Um, why is the inner peace here? And if not, this is the person that's coming towards you and they leaving behind somebody too. And whoever this is, it's like they made up their mind. They know that they don't love this person anymore. There's a sense of rejection and separation in the situation because they've been in a, they've been in a fog with this person for a really long time. So like I said, this could definitely be a quad situation for you guys where... You were married, they were married, and you guys met each other, and you are already experiencing problems in your relationship. You guys met each other, and y'all getting together. For some of you, you know, I'm getting that for a lot of you. Divorces, divorces being had, potential in reverse, realizing that something is just over. All right, so you could be dealing with somebody that, like I said, they no longer connected to someone, they easily giving it all up for you. They, they're not letting it be known that it's for you. This is the emperor in reverse here. Um, and I feel like he only in reverse because he's waiting to be in union with you. 
okay capricorn so yeah this is the person that you could be waiting to move towards this reading was very it didn't go in order like it normally did so it was kind of confusing but what i will say is what i'm definitely getting is that your primary person could be somebody that's sick. You trying to, you know, be there for that person, help them heal or help them through a hard time. But you have met somebody that sparked new interest in you. This person is having to wait until you close up a cycle. They're not happy about that, but they also have their own cycle to close up here. Okay, is what I'm saying. So either they have somebody, but they person, it seems like they, they give their person up a lot easier than you give your person up. That's what I'm getting here, Capricorn, okay? Okay, so we're going to get the outcome. What is the outcome between Capricorn and their, their primary partner? What is the final outcome between Capricorn and their primary partner spirit? peace okay so what was i saying like somebody here is at peace with their current situation either um ending or like i said a, a lot of a great deal of you or some of you i don't care what the percentage is it could be one person out there but somebody has a sick partner out here somebody has somebody that and they at peace with it. It's like, okay, I love you, but I know I have to move on now because you're getting ready to transition on to the to the next lifetime. And I have somebody here new now that is being a big support to me, and I kind of feel feelings for them. So, okay, Capricorn, when it comes down to your current situation, either you have peace that is coming to an end, or you have peace that you could be losing a husband or a wife at this time. Okay. All right. So what is the primary, what is the outcome, the final outcome between Capricorn and their third party spirit? Ooh, shoot. A lot came out. The past. You feel led to this person. And that's been consistent throughout this. Peep the eight. So infinity, you guys have had lifetimes together here. All right. You feel led to that person. All right. What is the final outcome between a cross watcher and their third party the void all right so again like i said whatever it was with that person they had somebody else okay that person was a void there was a void there and i feel like they met you you filled that void and that's why they're closing out that cycle so easily so at the bottom of the deck we have beauty in reverse so i just feel like it's a matter of time before you guys can have this beautiful connection that's coming together okay guys so if this reading helped like share comment and subscribe Join the Soul Tribe. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.